We took two years to trawl through 70 million specimens, and the Treasures Gallery contains the most exceptional objects from the Natural History Museum's huge collection. We're known as the home of the dinosaurs, and these teeth are some of the very first things that were ever recognized to be dinosaurs. They were found by the roadside in Sussex by Mary Ann Mantell, the wife of Gideon Mantell, a local country doctor. Gideon Mantell was the first person to realize what they really were. They were the teeth of a giant, extinct, plant-eating reptile. He finally published a description of them with a name, Iguanodon, but it took some time for his ideas to be accepted by the academic community. But eventually, Richard Owen, who was the first superintendent of this museum, used Iguanodon and two other land-dwelling reptiles to coin an entirely new word, the dinosaurs. We had to include the emperor penguin egg. This was brought back by Captain Scott, Antarctica expedition, and three members of that expedition, Apsi Cherry Garrard, Edward Wilson, and Henry Bowers, actually risked their lives collecting this egg. They had to endure temperatures of minus 40 degrees in the Antarctic winter, walking 100 kilometers in that complete darkness in order to find the emperor penguin colony. And they collected an emperor penguin egg and then made a little hole in the egg in order to extract the embryo. And the hope was that this embryo would show a structure intermediate between that of reptiles and of birds. The importance now of the egg is its cultural significance. And we now consider it to be an icon of human endeavor in the name and pursuit of science. What you see here is a rare first edition of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species, published in 1859. Now, Charles Darwin is a key figure in the understanding of our life on Earth. And the book On the Origin of Species laid out his ideas on the theory of evolution by natural selection. Darwin was aware of how explosive this theory would be on publication. So he spent more than 20 years collecting the evidence to back up his theory. Archaeopteryx, and its name means ancient wing, is a really important specimen that actually shows Darwinian evolution in action because it shows characters of birds and of dinosaurs, it really shows a halfway house in the evolution of one from the other. Most of its skeleton is like that of a, a dinosaur, including a long bony tail. It also has teeth like a dinosaur. And it's surrounded by feathers of both the wings and the tail impressed in the rock around it. The brain looks like that of a flying bird and it doesn't look like that of a land-dwelling, non-flying reptile. So that gave us some extra evidence that Archaeopteryx really was equipped to fly. The Barbary Lion Skull is actually a conservation icon because it's given us an opportunity to study a subspecies of lion which has now gone extinct in the wild. The skull was found by workmen digging in the moat at the Tower of London in 1937 and actually dates back to the 13th century. We know that lions were kept at the Tower of London as part of the Royal Menagerie for almost 800 years and certainly for the English monarchy they became heraldic symbols very early on. This skull is one of my personal favourites because it's led me through so many different layers of research. It's made me fully appreciate and fully understand how important museum collections are and how much information we can get from them. Some specimens were just too beautiful to leave out, like this pearly nautilus shell covered in intricate carvings made in the 17th century. This is the shell of a living mollusk, 
They live today in the South Seas, related to cuttlefish and to the fossil extinct ammonites. The shell belonged to Hans Sloane, who was a prolific collector in the 18th century. And when he died in 1753, Sloane's collections were bought for the nation. Sloane wanted them to be available for the instruction and entertainment, both of academics and of the public. And by putting his shell in this exhibition, we're still meeting his aims today. These objects are our treasures. We believe them to be inspirational. We hope that what you see, you will never forget. <laughs>